I hope you guys enjoyed that little introduction into the video. I just wanted to try something new. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys enjoyed it. Now, obviously, the intro kind of makes it hard to tell what this video is about, but obviously, the title gives it away. I'm going to show you guys how to build my tileable two wide composter combination lock that's a mouthful and if you guys wanted to build that elevator that was in the intro i do have a video on that in the comment section down below but we're talking about composters in this video so composters have different signal strengths depending on how much stuff's actually in them so i'm going to use this to make a combination a lot now obviously if there's nothing in it, it looks like this a little bit here you know it's kind of hard to tell but yes like they're different levels so if you look really closely it's easier to tell my favorite to use is the eight because obviously it had that white on top it's so much easier to tell a little trick i use on the other composters to tell their signal strength is how many lines they're showing and but then the more lines they're showing the less signal strength so you can see like the dark lines and light lines and obviously by lines i'm talking about the lines you can see on the inside of the composter not the outside because the outside doesn't change depending on the level so obviously using that knowledge we have a double piston extender right here and all we're going to have to do to this double piston extender is when it's down here we're just going to add a comparator facing away from the composter just like this and as you can see if i put items into the composter it's going to have a signal strength and you'll know there's a signal because when you put items in the composter the comparator will light up just like that now let's say you just wanted it to test to see if its signal strength is equal to one it's actually really simple you're just going to place it one block out with a redstone dust on it and then you're going to place a redstone torch on the side of that place another block out with a redstone dust on it and now no joke we're halfway done so now you're going to place another block out with a repeater at the end and then you're going to have it go into a block but then a block down to the side like this and then you're going to go down a little bit again and you're going to place two blocks next to each other just like this and you're gonna put the two redstone dust on top of them and then make sure you place a block on top of this redstone dust right here or that will happen and it should look like this and even though i didn't say it i also meant to place redstone dust next to that repeater like diagonally like i did and now no joke you're already done with it detecting now you can see this online on the side of it when that turns off that means it has a one signal strength now let's say you want it to test for two signal strength it's the exact same process i'm just gonna break it real quick you move everything over one and you're just gonna rebuild it one longer and so as you can see the redstone torch is two blocks out from the comparator and now i have the repeater another block away and then it runs into the block just like it did before and then it has these two blocks down here and then you're going to place the redstone dust on those three blocks again and you're going to have to place the block on top of the redstone dust just so that the system doesn't break and that's really it it's just dependent on the signal strength makes it longer and i already showed you how long each has to be based on their signal strength with that chart i made but here's all the possibilities that correlate to that chart. This is what it looks like. So depending on which one you choose, like if it was the one on the far right, then you're just gonna do the one that's on the far right over here. And since this is a combinational lock, you can actually connect all of these together to be each digit. Now there's eight possibilities per digit, so you just multiply them together for how many digits you have. So this design I'm showing you right now has eight digits, which means that it has over 16 million different possibilities. Not to mention that this design I came up with is actually infinitely expandable, which means that you can have an infinite number of these. Now, even though it's infinitely expandable, redstone isn't infinitely long. So basically, as you can tell, this far one right here is actually powered off. It's really simple just to expand it. All you just have to do is add a repeater down this line, just like this. And as you can tell, the piston extends and now they're all extended. Since it is a repeater, Peter, however it is to note that it will make the last one delayed and the more repeaters the more delayed it will be but it will still work just fine now the way we actually connect these is quite simple we have a line going all the way across here that goes to this redstone lamp just to show you and all you have to do is make sure that that line is connected to every one of these redstone torches down here now obviously yours might be in a different order but all you have to do is just make sure it connects to each individual torch like this i would recommend putting it the block under the torch because you also have to connect it to that block right next to it that had that repeater connected to it and basically what this entire line is it's just one big and gate that tests to make sure all these torches are off and if the repeater that was at the end is extended then it'll turn that on and it won't be off also now this works perfectly fine for all of them but for zero i had to make a slight modification if you have a signal strength of zero basically i had to move the line one outward with the repeater there so that it wasn't touching this piston and messing up the double piston extender but other than that they're all the same just make sure you connect that one line to all of them i don't know how much i preferenced this when i was actually explaining how to make each module but make sure you have that redstone dust right next to the block because without that then the repeater's not sending a signal into the block if it goes over your number and also again this block is here just to make sure that these two lines do not connect because then it messes with the signal strength coming out and that will ruin the entire thing also as you notice when i break the block it turns the torch off which is only supposed to turn off when you have the right combination 
Okay, so let's say we put the right combination of the composters in. When I flick this lever, you'll see the lantern goes on right at the end. And obviously, it doesn't have to be a lantern. You can connect that to whatever redstone thing you want, like a secret door entrance. But that's just what I'm using just to show that it's working. Now, I would recommend testing where if you change the combination off by one, it shouldn't turn on. But as you see, it does turn on, even though it's the wrong combination. And that's because you forgot to put a piece of redstone right next to the repeater right here, which then isn't making it work. Or you might have just messed up somewhere else along the way, and you just have to figure out why the redstone isn't working. But for me, as you can see, when I put that redstone dust there, it turned off because it's the wrong combination. But you see, if I was to make this the right combination, which is supposed to be zero in this slot again, and I flick the lever, then it should turn back on again. Also, it doesn't have to be the first digit that's wrong. Any of the digits can be wrong. Like, let's say I make the last one wrong, okay? And it's supposed to be that long eight signal, but it's a zero instead. As you can see, it doesn't actually turn on. Now, this design I made is flush with the ground, so you can cover this up with however you want. I just have dirt here to show it's flush. No redstone will ever show from it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you guys if you guys wanted to make a combinational lock out of composters. If this video did help you, please consider maybe leaving a like on the video. If you guys wanted to see the elevator that I showcased at the start of this, the video on how to build it is right here. Again, thank you so much for watching. See ya.